Hey guys, MJ675 here, and welcome back to the shipyard once again. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's gotten a lot worse, but luckily we will be solving that problem today because we just finished building and put up a new shelf, so that is very exciting. So, yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. We'll go see if you can see some of the top of it. Yeah, it's pretty nice, and there's quite a lot of room up there, so that's exciting. I might have to move the Jetrax T6, but... Other than that, it's pretty exciting. So the goal today um, and kind of of this video is to move a lot of the stuff around off of my various shelves and off of my table to hopefully solve a lot of the problems that the shipyard is made up of by moving a lot of the stuff from here onto here and then doing some stuff with the individual shelves as well just to get everything all sorted out. So. The main goal right now is going to be to make that shelf be a lot of the Republic stuff and then probably to turn this shelf over here into one with a lot of Separatist stuff and I know you guys can't see that really well but and then to take this this stuff on this shelf move it over to that area and then put some more kind of original trilogy and sequel trilogy stuff on this little shelf area so before we start I'm just going to go around and show you guys all of the different stuff that we've got going on here as far as what's on kind of each storage area so the shipyard um, is a lot different than it was when I made that video there's quite a few more things on here and I've actually run out of room on this table to store things unless I want to stack droid gunships because there's another droid gunship all the way over there just sitting on my table but other than that yeah this is the shipyard so that will also have to go somewhere as well and I'm not even done because I still have to, at this point, build and review the Slave 1 and a few other sets. But the Slave 1 will be the only one that stays together. So these are the original kind of four shelves right here. Got some Separatist stuff on the bottom and kind of the brown colors. And got some blues and grays up here for the next shelf. And then my Republic gunships are hanging out up there with some other vehicles. And then at the very top, some original trilogy stuff, including the Millennium Falcon, which will not be moving because that's pretty much the only space that I have. It's tall enough to store like that besides the top of the shelf I'm using for the Lego Inside Door stuff. So now I'll move back over to here, which is some more kind of Republic stuff that you can't see very well. But, you know, a lot of the ATTEs and ATAPs and stuff and some speeders over here. And then last four shelves, or five or whatever, right here at the bottom um, are my turbo tanks. They're probably going to stay down here just because they're on wheels and it's nice to have them close to the ground and they fit really well there. Then right here is another shelf of Separatist stuff and then some Gene Ocean stuff and some Mandalorian stuff on here as well. This probably won't change, but I'm just showing it to you guys. And then this shelf right here has some more Separatist stuff on it, like AAT, Tri-Fighters, Spider Droids, some droid gunships in the back of the older ones, not the new ones. And then a little Magna Guard Starfighter, that's what it's called, there we go. So. Yeah, and then up here, besides the Viserac kind of going around, there's just a whole bunch of original trilogy stuff. And a few First Order things as well, like these little cannons here. And then up at the top, this is not going to change because this is my LEGO Inside Tour kind of special Denmark LEGO shelf. So that's pretty exciting. But yeah, so the goal is going to be to move, move stuff around to make the table as empty as possible. So... I'm going to go do that now, and then I will show you guys the results of all of this. Alright, so I've put stuff on the shelf, and I'll show you guys the shelf in a second, but this is what remains of the shipyard, as you can see. There's a whole lot more clear on here. Pretty much this whole end of the table is good. Still not really enough space for me to build any any huge mocks or anything, but, you know, it, it's nice to have all this space clear, because it will make stuff a little bit easier, so... This is what is left of the shipyard. Um, the only thing that really didn't make it up there that I hope would make it up there was the ATT, and then there's a Jedi Starfighter underneath it. But other than that, pretty much all the Republic and Separatist stuff did make it. This isn't finished yet, so I'm not putting it anywhere. So it's still hanging out over here until I can finish the droid control ship up. But yeah, so this is all that remains of all of that stuff so I guess now I will show you guys the shelf and such um, these four shelves here stayed the same I didn't do anything to any of them they're all exactly the same as they were when we started this whole journey so now I'll move over to the first shelf that I changed which is this shelf under here which again you guys can't see super well but 
this is where all of my droid gunships and stuff ended up because this is now separatist stuff. So pretty much this is just a bunch of droid gunships, a few a few spider droids, and just a few other small things like some tri fighters and an AAT. And there's a Magna Guard Starfighter back there. But other than that, that's pretty much all that's going on over there. And there's a bit more room for some smaller sets on there as well. And then over here, right down here, there's still all the turbo tanks. They're all hanging out down here. And then there's this shelf is still the same with the MTT and stuff. And then and this shelf is slightly different because this is where the stuff that moved over to that shelf was. So I got to put some more clone stuff over here. So there's an ARC-170 in the back, and then there's some ATTEs, and then some Jedi Starfighters underneath them. So three of the four ATTEs were able to make it back on the shelves, so that's that's good. And then this stayed all the same, and that stayed all the same. I had to move this out a little bit so I could get more stuff on the shelves, but it's pretty much still up there. So then there's obviously the big shelf up there, so we will take a look at what's going on there. You can see just a whole bunch of ships up there and stuff and there's stuff like even behind a lot of these that you can't see just from this pan of it but yeah so that is pretty much all that's going on over here and um, one thing that you'll notice is that these small little Wookiee gun emplacements are up here as well and I'll probably move those somewhere else eventually but they fit up there and there wasn't really anything else that could go up there with how little space there was left so I just threw them up there for now so yeah other than that though that's pretty much going to be it for this video um, obviously there was some stuff that was not able to make it up to the sh shelf or anything, so that's kind of unfortunate, but overall I'd say this is a success, so thanks everybody so much for watching, if you enjoyed this, you know, interact with it if you can, I don't know when this is going up yet, but I don't know if you'll be able to interact with it or not, so if you enjoyed it, um, thanks for checking this out, and we'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.